So hi everyone, today I will be giving you some information on the different types of bias. So all of us maybe at some point of time we would be you know involved in some research or some analysis, data analysis. So by that time there's this particular um, you know um, situation of bias which occurs and there are different types. So there are observer, interpreter, confirmation and sampling bias. But in this video we would be looking at the first three biases and in the next video I will be explaining about sampling bias. So let's get into it. So observer bias. So observer bias happens when a researcher's expectations, opinions or prejudices influence what they perceive or record in a study. Okay. So if you to give it to you in short, the tendency of different people to see the differently thing to see things differently. Okay. So I can give you an example. Just look at this picture. One person might see a jar while as another person might see two figures. So that's an example of how two people or many people see things differently. So to give you another example, now it's not always that we are dealing, of course we are dealing with data in our research or in our analysis and that data can be qualitative or it can be quantitative data. Okay, so for people who don't know what is qualitative data, qualitative data is something that describes a particular entity whereas quantitative data that is a data which can be measured so for example temperature height etc this can be measured whereas if you see for qualitative data good bad interesting all this is quality which cannot be measured so be it qualitative data or quantitative data you there is always some amount of observation that is being done so for example here in observer bias a medical report can be observed differently by two different medical experts. So that's data and two pe people are trying to observe that data. So one particular medical re representative might say that there is some abnormal abnormality whereas another person might say that everything is normal. So that's a scenario where two people observe a thing in two different ways. So always you know to avoid this type of a bias where you don't know what is right or wrong or two people are observing things to different ways what people do is there are a larger number of people who come together and observe things and people and you ch and during the research pro process they check out which is the majority of people who support a particular concept so for example when you come to this example here of medical uh, report that's why people go in for second third fourth opinions because they want to confirm whether exactly if there is going to be something abnormal whether three people have said yes something is abnormal because this is a scenario when things can be uh, observed differently so this is an example where people come together and see what is the majority vote given for what type of a scenario so this is observer bias the next one is interpreter bias Interpreter is someone who sees data and tells what is the meaning of that data. So it's the tendency of different people to interpret data differently. So if you take for example, a person may sound angry on a call. Okay, So you're having a call, one person might say, okay, this person sounds really angry or it sounds rude. Another person might say that this person's voice is, this is the normal voice of the person. He is actually not angry. So this is an example. The next example is a text message. It may be misunderstood differently. So for example, if you see this egg here, I need money now. So one person might think that the person telling that is very demanding, whereas another person might say the person is really in need of money. He may empathize with the person. So this is how people interpret data differently. So the same rule goes for even this interpretation bias scenario many people come together and what is the majority interpretation given for one particular example that is what is taken into account okay you cannot just rely on one person's interpretation because sometimes it will be right or it may be wrong the next one is confirmation bias so here the researcher collects information or data in such a way to prove and confirm their own or pre-existing beliefs okay so take a scenario all of us we have some beliefs we have our own experiences we have our own opinions okay it's totally up to us 
so when something happens some people what when they are in a state to you know confirm something okay what they do is there is a bias there if i uh, if you are a person who believes let us take this example if you are a person who believes that students with higher grades are successful then definitely you will be confirming you will be collecting facts you will be you know trying to collect examples that support your belief okay you will not take into account any people who are not having high grades were successful you will say majority of the people who got good grades good got good ranks they were successful that's how you will try to confirm your belief that's exactly what is confirmation bias so every person who's trying to confirm a particular theory or a concept they sometimes they rely on their own beliefs their own experience and they'll say this is what is right this is only the confirmed uh, you know concept this is the confirmed theory so what happens is here if you see in this um, example there's a person with their own beliefs okay and there's the outer world there with a lot of facts and evidences available but a person what that person does is he collects only all the facts and evidences that prove and match his belief that supports his belief and ignores the rest okay so what happens is the other side which you know does not support his belief sometimes that also can be true for example people who don't have higher grades also are successful but a person because of this particular bias he is actually you know avoiding and omitting that particular fact that people without higher grades are successful so this is what happens in confirmation bias which has to be avoided so these are the three types of bias so always when you're doing a research try to avoid all the bias try to avoid you know seeing things from only your perspective look at the broader picture try to understand what story the data is telling you and of course you can cross check you know with your experience with your beliefs but totally don't rely on your own opinions prejudices understandings and experiences so please look out for the other video which is on sampling bias i'll be giving it out shortly you can even look at that for the fourth type of a bias and if you liked this video and you found it informative please do give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks thank you